Hello folks, welcome back to another edition of This Weekend at the Movies. The show where we give you guys our quick thoughts on the biggest films coming out each weekend. I'm your host Austin Pundum, and I'm here to give you all my thoughts on the latest sci-fi action thriller to come out theaters this weekend. Gemini Man. So Gemini Man, like I just mentioned, is a new action sci-fi thriller that stars Will Smith, directed by Ang Lee, and Will Smith plays a guy who is essentially the greatest assassin in the world, until one day when he finds out he is being hunted and tracked by a different assassin, and then he finds out that different assassin is a younger version of himself. So Gemini Man was a movie that I wasn't all that interested in, I mean, I love Will Smith and Ang Lee as a director, and I can tell you guys that there was a couple of things I liked, like for one thing, the performances for the most part were very very good. Will Smith was easily the best thing about the movie and I liked his chemistry with Mary Elizabeth Winston and Benedict Wong. Some of the action sequences were well done. How a motorcycle chase starts off was very cool and there was a very nicely done fight scene in the Paris catacombs to which the lighting I thought was excellent. And the de-aging on the young Will Smith looked phenomenal, especially in the nighttime scenes. There was one shot in particular I just thought, holy crap, that looks that looks like Will, that looks like young Will Smith. But unfortunately though, this movie is bogged down by pretty much every little thing. The movie's plot of a man that's being chased down by a younger self that was created by the guy who trained him has been done so many other times, mainly in 90s action films, 90s spy films. And to that end, this movie is predictable and cliche to the T. I was able to spot out every little thing that was about to happen in this movie and doesn't make anything better when most of the movie is just talking 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 to which normally i don't mind a dialogue driven movie that has a lot of exposition as long as the dialogue is good but oh my god the dialogue here is for the most part it's horrendous and not to mention gemini man is just way too melodramatic for its own good for a movie that takes a 90s concept that's released in the late 2010s if this movie just would have had fun with what it was doing this probably would have had a good time in the movie theaters but unfortunately like i mentioned before way too melodramatic and going back to the predictability aspect there was a certain part in the third act and i said this to my boss you know if this is going where I think it's gonna go, this is gonna be stupid. And sure enough, it did. And I literally said, oh my god, are you kidding me? And the action scenes can be well done, but at the end of one action scene with a motorcycle chase, it is so laughably bad. Not to mention the film is just boring due to the absurd amount of exposition. And then the CG, even though it's phenomenal, there's a couple of spots where it looks terrible. But I have to mention terms the performance as Clive Owen. What movie was he in? Because he was one note, unintimidating, and it was just a terrible villain. And every time I saw him on screen, I just wanted to get back to the fights with Will Smith versus Will Smith. So overall, Gemini Man can be entertaining at times. It has good performances, mainly from Will Smith. The CG can be quite amazing, and the action sequences are fairly well done. However, the movie's concept has been done so many different times. It's melodramatic, it's boring, it's predictable, and the CG, while for the most times can be amazing, it can also be quite terrible. So I have to give Gemini Man a not recommended. I mean, I'm a big Will Smith fan and I love Ang Lee as a filmmaker, but unfortunately this is not a great outing for them. I mean, I feel like this film can find an audience, but unfortunately I am just not its part of its audience. Alrighty guys, and that was my review of Gemini Man. Please comment out and let me know below. Are you guys looking forward to seeing Gemini Man tonight? Are you not looking forward to seeing it tonight? Let me know below. I hope you all enjoyed my review of Gemini Man. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to see any of our previous two reviews, please click either right there or there. And of course, until next week in the movies, we'll see you guys next weekend. Have a great weekend at the movies, guys.